You know, in my time of playing around with these weather mods in Minecraft over my many years, we've made a lot of tornadoes, like this one. But how big is that tornado? Is it a half a mile wide? Is it a quarter mile wide? I mean, it looked pretty big. Look at the damage it did, after all. How big are these things? More importantly, what's a mile wide tornado like in this game? I realize it's kind of a weird question, but you have to think about it eventually. Look, we talk about the history of tornadoes all the time, and it plays into this game. We talk about the big wedges, and the multi-vortex tornadoes, but of course everyone loves a good mile wide tornado. A mile is big and it's hard to put into words and even to explain without you seeing it in person. But of course Minecraft kind of gives us an idea because there is math in this. There are numbers to find out exactly what a mile wide wedge would look like in this game. So to do that, I am here on the Greenfield map, a classic map. And first things first, and I hate to tell you this, we have to do some math. Okay, so a bit of a weird vibe, but we are here in everyone's favorite Microsoft Paint because I needed a whiteboard, all right? So we have our Minecraft blocks, right? Wow, that is a bad look, Nate. That's better. Every Minecraft block, we actually know the height of. Believe it or not, at some point, someone actually told us they're exactly one meter in height, in width. I guess it doesn't matter. It's a cube. So knowing that, all we do is the math, right? How much of a meter is a foot? Well, one meter is equal to about 3.28 feet. And from that, all we need to do is calculate how many miles a foot makes up. And this one's pretty easy because one mile is 5280. Delightful. So all we need to do is turn that into meters. We need 5280 in meters. And the grand total is 1,609 meters. A mile in Minecraft, in theory, is 1,609 meters, or 1,600 blocks. This immediately poses a problem, because Minecraft is a big game, but 1,600 blocks is a lot of blocks. More importantly, the maximum tornado size in Proto Manly's Mother Mod is only 800, which is half of the size we need. So the best I can give you is not a mile wide, but we can at least get an idea of what something smaller, like half a mile wide would look like. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. So to do this, we just need to use our classic PM Weather Spawn Tornado command, and then we are going to build the width. Now, the wind speed here doesn't particularly matter. We'll just go with like 150 miles an hour, I guess. And the width is the important part. And the largest in this version anyway is 800 blocks. So this is going to be fun. Now we just gotta make our way out of here as we fly across this map, but we are still going. I knew this was gonna be big, but goodness gracious. Certainly we're almost out of it. Ah, yes, I'm seeing some fog. This is good, and we have made it out. The grand reveal. And this thing is, without question, a wedge. This is a massive, massive wedge. Now, there are some things that we should note about this bad boy as I clear it before my game crashes. The most important being, of course, this relies on everything being in scale. For example, sure, a regular block of bricks is a meter, which means our character is about two meters tall. Does that mean that everything else is to scale? For example, are these buildings to scale? Well, they should be pretty close, all things considered. But of course, everything in moderation, this is a game. So folks, what you saw there was about a half a mile wide, in theory. Now, I'll be honest, that seems a little unrealistic for my liking. That thing was a massive wedge. That thing looked more like El Reno, which was more than two miles wide. <laughs> but of course, anything is possible. The real question is, how big is a normal tornado in this game? You know, a generic tornado that just spawns in game. And to answer that, I spawned one, and it looks like this. As far as I can remember and recall, an average tornado in this game spawns something around this, 20 to 50 blocks wide. It's pretty small, some of them don't even touch the ground, just like this one. But of course, how big is that in the real world? How much of an impact is this making? Well, to get the answer to that, we go back to the whiteboard and we go back to doing math on this channel. You see, when we're spawning a tornado, we are spawning one in. We ran with 50 blocks, so that is 50 meters wide. By doing the quick math, that ends up being about 165 feet. Meaning, the average tornado that I see in this game is about 0.03 miles wide. It's important to keep in mind that the average width of a tornado in the real world is about 
about 500 feet, which means that we are seeing something way, way smaller in the game than we technically would in real life. We're seeing a tornado almost a quarter of the size. So what does it mean for your Minecraft worlds? That means you should probably be grateful. After all, I'm fine with a small tornado like this running through my town as opposed to, you know, this, which is defined as 150 meters. By technical rule, this is closer to the size of an average tornado in the real world. And goodness gracious, it is raining debris. I hope you had insurance on this place. It is a good time to be underground and maybe an important lesson for all of us. I may have turned the wind setting a little too high on that bad boy. <laughs> so look, I know it's a bit of a weird video and it's certainly not just a random one. I've been thinking about this a lot, but a lot of people have asked me to make tornado chasing videos and even more have suggested that I recreate famous tornadoes. I'll be honest, I don't know how I would do that in the first place. That would mean recreating cities and that feels a little weird. But even if I was recreating tornadoes like by size, it would be a little strange. A mile wide, first of all, we know isn't possible right now. And even with a tornado that is half the size at around 800 meters wide, which again works out to about half a mile, it still looks way too big in the game. Maybe more importantly, this is a lesson that mile wide tornadoes are rare. And when they happen, they are monsters of nature. So just be grateful that they're not spawning in your Minecraft world right now. And if Proto Manly ever updates this mod so they can, maybe invest in a better shelter.